1949 RCA 8TK29 black and white television. Going to put her back together, test the picture tube, see if she still works. It's been a few years since she's been powered on. She's been moved a few times. I'm going to start with testing this picture tube. And as I've been getting the parts together to put this back together, I realized I think this was really weak and I did a rejuvenate and I don't know where that stands. We'll hook it up and see what it says. Um, anyway, yeah, we'll see if this uh, 8TK29 still works. Get it aligned. Maybe get to watch the news on it tonight. Yeah, that'd be cool. All right, we're all hooked up and set up. Let's turn this on. Jeez. set there we are well she's glowing in there it's a good sign no shorts good cut off oh man I got no cut off that's not there we are Okay, we got some cut off. Okay, good. Ooh, she's coming to life. Boy, let me get back down here and fill on it. Make sure we're not. Yep. She's just coming to life, I guess. Man, this is cut off is acting weird. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to let it sit here for a few minutes to just see what happens. I'm going to go get the other parts to the TV and get her in the cabinet there and we'll uh we'll come back and check on this tube well here's the chassis it's missing the high voltage cage it's been that way since i got it which is scary i suppose but um i just got to get it in here try to remember it's been probably 10 minutes or so and it's not looking promising on this CRT. I think I picked up another one of these out of swap meet. I might have to see if I can find it. I think this thing's dead. We'll give it a shot and see what it does. But boy, it's um. Whoa, it's um. Not looking good. Yeah, look at that. It is done. I don't know if it's worth a restore. I do got a, what do you call it? A, uh, one of those old school picture tube brighteners. And, uh, let's see if we crank the voltage up if this will help any. Thing's being weird. I don't know. This thing's being weird. <clears throat> Maybe out of luck on this thing. Well, look what I found. The other 10 BP4 used special. Let's see if it's any better. Jeez, I need to tighten that up. Ooh, let's back that down a little.
These things have to be just as wonky. Huh. Well. Looks like this one's not any better. Well, that's a shame, huh? Well, it certainly doesn't look as crispy in there. As this one does. Now it looks extra crispy. That actually looks decent. Whoa. Lose connection or what? I think this tube is no good also. That's awesome. Well, we'll try it anyway, see what it does. Oh, there we go. See if this blows up. Got her put back together. The best I remember anyways. No. Oh. Spectacular light show time. All right. Who knows about any of that? Yeah, a little bit of sound. Well, she's glowing right away, ain't she? Does that sound like a vertical running? Kinda does. We ain't got nothing here. Brightness and contrast is all the way up. Vertical. Let's see if I can get it. Kind of hard to hear it over that damn bike. I need to go get the mirror. Let's see if I'll start with the ion trap first. Well, I'll be tickled pink. I just adjusted the iron ion trap and. I got a picture on here. Love it. Looking good. Heck yes. Um, let's set the sync core up on it and do an alignment. See if we can get an alignment done. I can't believe this thing's still working after all this time. Uh oh. Spoke too soon. Anyway, let me show you that. Iron traps right here. There we are. I can't believe it. It's almost perfect. The crazy part is, is the yoke and all that was out of whack, so I just loosened everything up because it was all messed up, so it's all loose. I needed, I was gonna adjust it and then tighten it down. Uh, oh, wrong button. Let's see here. Oh, that's... Uh, we got tone? Yeah. The picture tube is totally schwacked, as we know. So, there we go. 
It needs a new picture too, but hey, you know what? I might be able to still watch TV on it, so that's really not bad. Those things, but hey, see if I can just tighten the screws down and maybe. Well, heck, I don't know if that needs adjusted at all. Hi, William Devane here. It's the Medicare annual enrollment period, and this year it's simple. One, before the deadline, call the number at the bottom of your screen. Well, she suddenly got real staticky. Was real clear, and I can't get the antenna adjusted just right. I think I might need to check some of the tubes in the video amplification stage. Much in the last few years. I don't know. I, I hope. 
You know, I'm thinking maybe that tester wasn't very accurate. The picture quality on this really isn't that bad. Or maybe it could be a lot better. I'm really not sure. It was acting kind of funky. Maybe I wasn't testing it right. I don't know. He has set that up for fun. It's, uh, I think, the best I could get for the transmit. Just the antenna here. But, um... It's not exactly accurate. It's looking like it's, you know, stretched vertically, but on the actual SIN core, it's not. It's just how I'm transmitting the signal here. Still kind of cool. By the CPSC within 24 hours by filing a substantial product. Well, mission remains confidential secret to the public. I think it's the most frustrating part of, of the job sitting here at the Consumer Product Safety Commission. We would love to be able to tell. Anytime we know about something like that, we'd love to be able to tell the public because you need to give people the opportunity. I think I'm going to call this one good too. Our central function, telling the public 